Hello, and welcome to Getting Started, 3D Experience Platform Basics for Sponsored Teams. Topic 2, User Groups and Collaborative Spaces. Now that we've covered navigating the platform, let's focus on two specific apps, user groups, and collaborative spaces. Before we begin, we're going to need to create a user group and create a specific collaborative space for the team to use. To do this, we're going to click on the compass and we're going to type in user and you'll see that the app called user groups appears. Now, if we click on that icon, it'll pop up with user groups and we can begin on creating a group for the team. To do so, all you have to do is click on this icon that says create group. In this case, I'm going to name this one team one. I'm then going to click create. And then once that is created, I can then click on it to open it. And then I can go to the plus symbol and start adding members. Now, this is where you want to add every member of the team into one group. This will make it significantly easier when you're adding the group to a community or a collaborative space or anything else. All you have to do is type in team one and you'll be able to add every member of the group in one time. So as you type in the name, if we start typing in my name, for example, it'll pop up with the name that pops up in here. I am in the system twice, so it'll pop up twice for me. But you'll be able to type in their email address and it'll pop up right here. Once you click on their name and click add, they have now been added to that user group. And now anytime you add that user group to something, I will also be added as well. Now, if you added the wrong person or let's say someone left the team, you can then click on the de delete button or remove member button. And that quickly removes the person from the group. Now that automatically removes them with access to every individual area that you gave them access to as well as if you add someone, it'll give them access to all those areas as well. The second step we need to cover is creating a collaborative space. Now for this one, there's an app called 3D Space. 3D Space is where we basically create a space or a collaborative space that allows us to save all of our CAD parts or design parts in one area. Now we're only gonna create the space once and you're really not gonna use it for finding content and adding stuff and creating new things. It's just going to be the storage in the background. We're going to use other apps like my content and things like six W tags to be able to make navigation of finding parts and everything else significantly easier. So we're going to click on 3d space. And once we're in here, we're going to create a space. You can see here, I happen to have one called team collab space already created, but if we want to create a new one, on the top here, you can click this drop down next to my collaborative spaces and you can create, click new collaborative space. In here, we can create a space called team one and click create. We're going to leave it as private because we only want the people we added to it to have access to it and click create. Now this will take a moment to create it in the background. Once it's created, we can click on it and we can actually click this plus symbol to add members. Now remember, we already actually added a group, a user group, so that we can actually type that in here and we'll be able to actually add that user group directly to it. So anybody we add to that user group or remove from the user group will now get access or lose access to this collaborative space. We're gonna add everybody as an author. This will allow them to create parts and save parts and also take a look at other people's uh, parts that they've created as well. So once that's in there, we click add members. Now, every time I add someone, they automatically get access. Those are the two steps you need to do before we start adding people to user groups and start working on the design. Make sure you create a user group and then you create a collaborative space where everybody can work. Thank you for watching and be sure to finish watching all of the getting started with 3D Experience Platform Basics for sponsored teams videos. Have a great day.